Hello, welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, I will discuss about the uh, very important interview question uh, which is asked in GenPack. So, one of my students, uh, they he attend the interview and uh, he shared a uh, couple of the questions. So, I selected five most repeatable questions. Uh, I see uh, most of the company, they ask this type of the question. So, uh, in this video, I will discuss in the detail uh, what is the question. So, uh, before starting, uh, if you want to uh, learn the complete SQL, uh, you can uh, uh, learn from the my website and you can also uh, download the app which is the given in the video description and uh, you can learn the SQL and uh, you can learn the practice uh, uh, all the SQL interview question which is very helpful to you crack any type of the interview related to data analytics or the business analyst or the reporting analyst uh, or database developer so this all the courses available in the website so uh, let's jump to the question uh, what the ask in the gen pack here uh, so uh, you can see uh, this uh, i selected five questions so before starting i'm also a uh, couple of the request uh, getting from uh, lots of viewers that uh, uh, they want uh, all the videos same like the tutorial in the hindi as well so uh, interview question also i will provide in the hindi language as well so you can find the uh, video in Hindi language as well. So uh, let's start. This is the question. Uh, basically, he attend for the uh, data analytics profile and a uh, couple of the very repeatable question. I see this type of the repeatable question uh, you got in the interview. So the first question is the uh, how many row will affect if we use the inner join and left join. So I have two table here, table A and table B. And uh, this is a very important uh, question and uh, uh, most of the company and uh, they are asking this question. The reason is uh, uh, they want to understand that uh, you have the complete understanding of uh, uh, joins or not. So I have table 1, uh, table A, I have the data 1, 1, 1 and 2 and 4 and the table B have the data 1, 1 and uh, 3 and uh, 6 and 7 okay so if you perform the left join or the inner join how many row will be affected okay so uh, basically uh, the student uh, doing the mistake that uh, uh, they have the understanding that if you join two table inner join they will give the common uh, record so uh, one two and one two you have two common record will be there so they will give the answer like uh, 4 or 3. So uh, this is the very wrong answer. The reason is the uh, SQL engine will be how the join uh, perform. So they pick up uh, the first record from the uh, first table and they search in the that record is available into the second table or not. So now they can see one is they will pick up and they will match here. So they will put into the output one uh, something like. Now coming back, the second record, they also uh, again they uh, pick up with this first record, they match again. So now they will coming again one, something like that. Okay. Now again they will pick up to now the no one, and then they will pick up the this record and so on. So what will be happen? The output will be for three into uh, two six record. Okay, and plus two. Uh, and matching record whatever have so total if you perform the uh, inner join uh, the total seven record will be uh, in the output okay so this concept you should know okay so you can try to uh, create this table here and uh, uh, you can just uh, create the data and you can try to perform the left join so you have the better understanding so in the future uh, if you if anyone asks you this type of the question uh, it's very clear okay now the second question they ask on the same table uh, like we have the select star from table a and they use the left join and the, uh, in the second uh, query we have the select star from table b uh, they change the table position okay and they also change the right uh, join also right join so the there is any impact on the output or not okay the reason is there is no impact on the output because uh, here we have the left join 
so this is the left table uh, so here we have the right join again so this is the this is the left table okay so that is the reason the no impact on the output so you need to be tell clearly that uh, if you have the uh, left join and right join and the table position is changed nothing will be impact so uh, this is the also very important concept and uh, you you definitely you will get uh, this type of the question on the interview now third question is the uh, we i have that uh, what is the difference between identity and uh, scope identity and identity current okay so uh, this three concept is very similar here okay so uh, identity and scope identity so we have the i already discussed in the video tutorial that uh, uh, if you want to auto generate the number we can use the identity rule uh, we can create the identity rule so automatically number will be inserted so basically at the rate at the rate identity return the last identity value generated for any table in the current session across all the scope so whatever the session we have the uh, like uh, all the scope means the we ha also have some type of the different scope like the data inserting through the uh, trigger in the same table in the current session okay and basically scope identity is written the last identity value generated for any uh, any table in the current session and the current scope current scope in the sense whatever like suppose if you executing uh, this window in the store procedure so this is the uh, current scope they, they will not uh, uh, figure out the any uh, like the global scope okay global score like other uh, trigger we have data inserting or identity current it will return the last identity value generated for the specific table in the any session and any scope okay so they will basically in any session like uh, we have the different session like uh, other developer have the one session second developer have different session and any uh, scope like trigger or the uh, store procedure so that is the main difference between the identity uh, scope identity and identity current okay uh, the fourth question they asked basically the difference between the care uh, where care and the and where care so this all uh, data type is basically used to uh, store the uh, character value so so basically when we use the care so like if you use the care and uh, uh, if you have the some uh, data like uh, uh, Pandey Guruji okay so if you have Pandey Guruji 2 to 4 to 6 to 7 uh, sorry uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so basically 12 character will be there so they will uh, and if you uh, uh, declare care something like that uh, uh, 50 so they will occupy all the 50 white but if you use the where care uh, where care something the 50 so if and same if you if you use the Pandey Guruji here okay so let me put this in the single inverted comma here and if you use the Pandey Guruji same 12 character so they this will be occupied uh, totally uh, 50 character okay uh, but uh, this will be occupied uh, totally whatever the 12 plus 7 7 additionally take so around uh, uh, 19 or 20 uh, byte okay but if you use the n wear care okay if you use the n wear care like 50 so they will just uh, double of whatever you passing here like if you passing the Pandey Guruji so uh, 12 into 14 and 8 uh, 12 into uh, 2 is equal to 24 plus uh, 7 or 8 like around 32 byte will be occupied okay so that is the region and also n where care will be support uh, uh, multiple uh, multiple languages okay uh, like Chinese language like Japanese language but this will be support only uh, English language okay so they will not accept uh, uh, other languages okay so that is the reason this is the major difference and you should know this is a very basic concept and if you are not able to answer this question uh, definitely there are chances to rejection okay uh, now the last question is the related to something the uh, select statement so this is the basically used to just uh, figured out uh, what concept you have 
so we have the uh, three uh, statement select one uh, select one from dim employee select none plus one what will be output okay so this will be basically give the uh, whatever the one is there so one will be print so this will be print number of the time how many record into this table okay so if you select this one if you have the 18000 record or 296 record 296 times this will be uh, print in the output and null we cannot add the any value into the null okay so basically they will give the null output okay so this is a very uh, uh, important question so i already provided a uh, uh, couple of the more uh, question you can uh, find under my youtube channel that uh, series i am providing here so you can see this is a scl uh, uh, interview question because my uh, viewer or the student they attending the interview in the different different company and uh, i'm collecting so it's very helpful to you so if you go all the step of the interview question so you can crack any interview related to sql okay so if you have any question and if you also attending the interview and if you're not able to crack uh, uh, you can post the question into the uh, video description i will pick up the question and will provide the solution so thank you so much for the watching complete this video i will meet in again next video thank you